Good morning and happy Thursday everyone. It is almost 8 o'clock and Owen and I are downstairs starting the day and getting ready and all. Um, if he's asleep he was up. He went to bed at a normal time then he woke up in the night and was up until early in the morning um, and James is getting sick. Uh, he's the only one, like we all got sick once first and then Everybody got sick, like Alfie, Owen and I with the bug, and James didn't get anything. And he came home from work last night with a temperature and very shivery and muscle pain. So we're hoping it's not the flu because he is the only one who didn't get vaccinated. For some reason he's the one who needs it the most because his immune system is very down. And uh, he's still waiting for the vaccine, so it's rubbish rubbish health system but um hopefully it's not that because i mean i don't see what else it could be really but fingers crossed i go quickly oh, i am shattered um last night i ate the rice dish i made which was really really nice except that and i don't know why i keep doing this and i, I should know if i eat right rice at bedtime yeah, like not a bit, if I eat rice at dinner time, by the time I go to bed, it hasn't gone down and then it's a disaster. It's one of the worst options possible. So I'm going to save it for lunches instead of dinners. But oh, it was nice at least, but it's just, I don't know why I didn't remember. Anyway, I am going to be stalking the postman from today because I ordered a little traveler's notebook, like a small size of these ones for um, to keep on the go like in my bag and all and I've had I started to prepare like all the little notebooks to go in it and all and it's going from America and the tracking details are sometimes a bit vague and for several days it was stuck it was stuck oh, it was stuck in London in London airport there was no more tracking for several days uh, so I contacted the um, people who sent it and they said that sometimes with international post because it's um, basic tracking, basic postage I picked, um, it only tracks in the US and then when it arrives in the country it doesn't track anymore. So I thought oh maybe that's that and it will come and all that. Turns out it does continue to track, it's just that uh, it was stuck in Heathrow Airport so I'm guessing in customs. So I'm expecting a customs bill to go with it, which I was hoping I would escape. It's very hit and miss, whether you get customs or not on the stuff. Uh, and it used to be more miss than hit, and since Brexit, it's been hit almost every single time. So I used to order a lot of planner stickers in love and all from America, and I've stopped because I get customs too much for my taste, and it adds to the price too much. Customs themselves are fine enough, but what annoys me is the handling fee that the Royal Mail put on top of it. Sometimes I've had to pay like four pounds of customs and then twelve pounds of handling fee, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm expecting that if I do get customs between the customs and the handling fee, it will be about twenty six pounds or something like that, which is something I factored in the price overall so if I don't get paid I, I will see it as a little discount compared to what I was prepared to pay for it anyway rumbling on about about that but <sighs> oh, I'll be stuck in the postman for either my my notebook or um, customs form to pay before I can get it so I've just got a customs form <laughs> so I need to go and pay I was planning I would have to pay about 26 pounds if I was hit it's 17.86 so it's not as bad but still annoying uh, so I'm gonna go to the post office and um, bring the money for it if I can find the exact change so I can collect this straight away the problem when you live in places where the tiny the post office are tiny units in shops is that I have to f put enough stamps on that to cover £17.86 in the delivery office where my <laughs> notebook is right now they don't take cards so I thought I would go to the post office first to get the stamps sorry I'm putting my seatbelt on at the same time to get the stamps and then go there to collect it but the post office does not have enough stamps to cover that amount 
So I'm gonna go to the delivery office. I've taken money out. I don't know if they give change back and I don't have the exact change, so I'll go and see. Otherwise, I might have to drive further away to get to another post office. Look what I got. I'm going home now. I'll show you when I get home. The weather is insane. It's like a stormy, I don't know. So the verdict is, it's amazing. <laughs> This is what I've been bothering people about. It's a lovely little notebook. It's so cute. Um, I'm just going to show you quickly what it's like. But um, I filmed an opening, like an unboxing video for my um, channel. And it has some scuff. It's a, it's a leather that will scuff easily. And it, see, straight away it's scuffed it. But that's the reason why I wanted this kind of leather. Because then it, gives, it gets marks and ages as you use it. I've just slotted in my insert there. I haven't got any dividers or anything yet. But uh, as you can see, I've slotted in all my little notebooks and my stickers. Little pouch thing. And then there's like a pocket here and some pockets here and I'm so pleased about it. It's so lovely. I'm now going to go and get Owen's curl. The good thing is that I can leave this little monkey with this big monkey when I go. The weather outside is horrible. Like the wind is so so strong and it's been kind of raining on and off and the combination of, the, of both is ridiculous. The, it's just windy at the moment, it's not raining. And this monkey, can you see him over there? Alfie. Good morning, it's the next day, it's Friday, it's sunny outside, it's almost the weekend, I've already done a lot of stuff, it feels great. I have brought Owen to school and I have collected all the shopping uh, that I had ordered, so I'm just going to put everything away and um, I had a rubbish thing happening at school, which I'm not a big fan of the school run in general. And most, the main reason why is that I don't really like the way uh, some parents behave in front of children in the sense that uh, there's a lot of gossiping going on openly in front of children who just hear stuff. Um, I have people talking to me about random people I don't even know telling me private stuff about their life. And I kind of don't want to know those things. It's not my business to know that. And I don't understand the need for people to do that. And I don't understand the need for gossiping like that. Anyway. Um, I then... I had brought the car because I wanted to go straight away to the shops to collect the shopping after. So I was parked. And uh, I have a big car. Fair enough. It's a seven-seater. It's a big car. But when you park and you clearly do not leave any room at all so that your car is close that close to the other car next to you especially when there's a car seat in there to me it's extremely inconsiderate it's i don't even know if those people even look what they are doing and i don't care if they look or not they should look and they should i don't know i kind of believe that we all share the same planet in the same place and being a little bit considerate for towards other, on the way the world towards other people, it's not, it doesn't take much energy and it's actually quite nice to do and I don't understand why a lot of people don't seem to care about that. So I ended up having to climb from the other side of the car, so climb with Alfie who weighs a ton, to lift him over to his seat and then for myself to climb over the other side which is no big deal it's fine but when it's early in the morning and you have a baby and you have to go and collect your shopping at a certain time it's annoying but what I wanted to say about this is that despite this annoying me it's sunny and it's something that makes me super happy I love in this country I love autumn and I love it's not exactly spring, it's when spring starts to show its signs. And by that I mean um, nature showing signs that spring is coming. Um, you can see the daffodils starting to shoot up. You can start to see there is a start of the first flowers and I'm getting so excited. Um, a lot of the place around us is completely green, covered in grass. We're in Ireland, it's raining a lot. The grass is very happy, very green and healthy. But in the middle of that grass, there is loads of loads of land that is covered in... So I think there are crocuses. 
I don't know if that's the word in English. I say crocus, crocus in French. <laughs> um, and there are some white ones, some purple ones, and some uh, yellow ones. And that looks amazing. And the com color combination together in the middle of the green is amazing. Sorry if that's boring you. I get very emotional when nature does pretty things. <laughs> so, yeah. So this is really exciting. Also, yesterday in France was Crepes Day, which is called La Chandeleur. It's a day, it's not called Crepes Day, but it's the only translation I can think of. It's a day where people make crepes. And um, because it was the Thursday, James is always home really late and all that, so we thought we will just do it at the weekend. So I've got a lot of things to make crepes for this weekend, so this is exciting. And... Um, then what else it's the weekend soon that alone is nice so i'm feeling in a very positive mood right now and uh, yeah alfie slept quite well last night actually that was nice and i uh, feel like i'm coping well with work and all that and james is finally finished the feeling a bit better he went back to work today so he only took one day off in the end which is pretty good so yeah I'm gonna stop my rambling. Anyway, I'm feeling in a very positive mood. I thought I would share it. I share my rounds, so I might as well share my positive moments as well. We're just back from the school run and I just wanted to tell you about something that I, I keep meaning to tell you about and I forget. Um, I, in line with what I was saying earlier this morning about we all live on the same planet and all that, um, they, lately I have been looking at ways to try and help the planet with some small simple actions. Um, I wouldn't claim to be the most eco-friendly person, um, I'm not, but I do try to gradually add little little actions that don't take me a lot of energy, that are free, uh, to try and help the planet. And I think if everybody makes small actions, it can make a massive difference. So here's one of the things I've changed. I've always used Google as a search engine simply because that's how I probably was shown how to search to start with between that and Yahoo and it was built in my um, my browser and it was just easy and simple never ever thought about the fact that Google was actually making money of me from me using that and that this money goes into the pockets of a very big company who not gonna say doesn't need money but has a lot of money already it doesn't really make anything for the planet and all that and then I heard about various um, search engines who had um, charity and this is not the right way but side to them so for example the one I've been using is Ecosia so sorry about the um, strobe effect I can't stop that from the screen if you want to know more about it the website is ecosia.org i am using firefox and i have just installed a small plugin that is me that means that if i search there like this for example it just uh searches via this uh search engine and as you can see it looks pretty much like google <laughs> like you have everything the same um, the only difference being that the money they make from you using it is used to replant trees which is pretty important for the planet I'm sure you will you will get and what's fun is that you can actually see on their website how many trees have already been planted thanks to the money they've raised um, you can learn more about how they work there is uh, their website is pretty transparent and uh, I just think it's a nice way to, you don't have to change much of what you do, but it really, really helps the planet. So that's really good. So that was my little eco-friendly <laughs> moment of the, of the day. Uh, Ashley hasn't slept yet, so I'm hoping it sleeps soon so I can get stuck into work. I'm kind of going to prepare my work already. I have like, like the, this is the box where I put the stickers that are already ready to be packed for orders but I need to print more too. These are partial orders in there, so I need to make a list of what other sheets I'm missing and all that. So I'm gonna prepare my work as much as I can, so when he goes to sleep, I can just get stuck in and work, work, work. It's now half eight and, excuse the team Umizumi some sound in the, in the background. I've done quite a bit of work. Um, Alfie is in his cage. <laughs> 
he has taken one of the screws out of the fire guard and he's using this as a little house now so I've kind of let him it, it actually makes him very happy to be sitting in there so I'm letting him um, today I just went to Lush to buy me a face mask because I have a massive um, I know it's not if you have severe acne you're probably thinking it's not a lot but for me this is a massive uh, breakout like outbreak of spots it's all around my chin and my jawline so it's hormonal um, I'm guessing it was meant to be uh, so I'm gonna do a face mask to try and help a bit because they are not nice and they are very very sore um, so yeah and then hopefully that will help a little bit I am also gonna edit the vlog that you're watching right now I've started earlier and uh, just do a bit more work and then go to bed and yeah so I will see you in the next vlog oh, there is the mask I'm doing um, which will be uploaded on Monday night bye